Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we is gonna be unboxing a little Louis moment. You guys, you guys. Oh, this is like a very tight shot for a thumbnail, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to deliver a thumbnail for, for you know, for the channel. I mean, if it works, it works. If not, not. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button um, to gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Decob, all spelled together for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. Hi, guys. Welcome to the unboxing. Silala says, oh, my favorite. I love it already without even seeing it, said Silala. I know you love Louis. I love Louis too. Um, so, yay. Now, you know, I love when I do the unboxings. Okay, so I'm double happy because, you know, I'm still recovering from the candy cane, you know, the virus, the pandemic, the lockdown thing. Ooh. And, um... So I've been testing negative for some time now, and I mean, I'm my lungs are still healing. I'm still coughing, but I'm I'm fine. So I finally go out, and I I receive. Well, this is something I was asking my sales associate for for a while, and they never had it. And I got notification that they had it, so I was extra happy because I got a chance to actually go out of the house, breathe some fresh air, go pick this uh, thing up, and I I didn't think it was gonna. Yeah, you know when you just like ask for something and like months go by and you just get no response and then out of the blue you don't even remember you kind of asked for it and it's there. So I was kind of happy because it, it gave me, you know, in these dark times a moment to just <sighs> chill for a second and, and enjoy, enjoy. So this is the box, right? And so what I love to do is uh, always read where everything was made because you know how Louis prints where everything was made. So the bag, let me tell you, packaging was made in Hungary. So the bag was made in Hungary. And the box, I have it down there. Uh, the box was made in Bulgaria. The little magnetic class box was made in <laughs> Ermergerd the 40? Oh, Erm Ermergerd, Nicole Popovich. Ermergerd. Is it the 40? The speedy 40, you ask? Fact of story says, I'm glad you feel better now. Yeah. I had to pop in a painkiller though. So I'm like, wee! But yeah, fascinating, says Jack. Okay, a box looks too small to be 40, says C Lala. C Lala knows her Louie, and you deserve a tickle for that. Tickle, 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 because you guessed it. You, yeah, just as Bulgaria. Well, the box, the bag is from Hungary. Oh my gosh, you guys! What is it? What is it, you guys? What is it? Oh. Ah, oh, I don't even care what's inside. I love it. Says it's so cute. Okay, I need this. <laughs> Jax says, "God, I need this." I need the, <laughs> um, yes, because uh, I, I I really do strip tease the item. Oh my god! Okay, dun 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 dun. The little strip tease music. Can somebody play some Violet Chachki strip tease music while we're doing this? Silala is asking Nano Speedy. No, it's a little bit too. Uh, no, Nano Speed. No, no. This is. This is this is giving me 25 vibes, but not speedy vibes. A little hint, hint. Thank you so much, Robert Palladino. Congrats on 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Trunk clutch. Co Nana, Coco's kitty. Mm -hmm. 
no. I mean, uh, could be. No, it's not. Wait, I know the French name for this one. So maybe that's a translation in English? No, not really. Unboxing a la burlesque. Jesus asks, is it the Alma? Uh, no, because it would have, well, the handles. Yeah, I, I can see how you could think it's a, it's an Alma. Um, if it ain't 25 centimeter, I ain't taking <laughs> Oh my God, Jack. The 25 is a little bit hard to handle though, isn't it? It looks structured, says Coco. Uh, yes, but as we know, with a lot of, I mean, if you know, if you follow me for some time, you know, Louis Vuitton, for me, is the monogram. Uh, you know, I, you know, I always have this little baby here. Always use it here while I'm filming. Um, so it's something monogram-ish because obviously I love it. I live for the monogram. Ha, ah, the cousin. Hmm. That's what she said, Jack says, Nicole. Who's, who's, who's cousin? Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think nobody guessed. Mono wham, baby. <laughs> okay. And toiletry bag. Oh, Richard. Look at you. Tickle, 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 tickle. We're on to something. We're on to something. Oh my God, look, it's still invisible. What is it? Ah, uh, oof, oh my gosh. Oh, open, 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 says Susie. Oh, 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 tickle, tickle, tickle. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. I got it, ah, yes, quit. Oh, it doesn't want to come up, it doesn't want to, oh, oh, oh. It's born, you guys, it's born. <laughs> it's born. <laughs> It's not a cube. It's not a cube. It is the Trousse Toilette 25. Um, and let me tell you, I've been waiting for it and it had to be made in France, right? <laughs> so, look how cute. My sales associate made a little pillow. Isn't she adorable? She made a little pillow for me to stuff it. So I got a little tiny Louis Vuitton pillow. Um, the <laughs> proof is in the pudding. You see, you see what it says in there? It says it's made in France. Oh, it doesn't want to focus on it. Is it focusing, you guys? Wait, why doesn't it want to, where's the lot? Why doesn't the lot shine on it? <laughs> it's like literally like, no, I don't want to show you where I made. I'm too shy. So, here's the thing. Now, for those of you who didn't click away because people just want to see what you unbox and then they leave the video, I see the statistics in the analytics. Pity, because what we're going to see now is the reasons why. So, I love this one, but it definitely is better as a clutch out and about because it's so high that when I put all the makeup that I need for, for my live streams and just the makeup that I need on a daily basis, it fills up, kind of comes halfway up because this is very thin. And then everything that I put on top of the other half would be kind of like stapling on top of something that's underneath. And then that cosmetic usually falls to the side. And then what ends up happening is like this bag ends up opening up very much so because of, of the size that it has. So I needed something that was lower, but wider. And something, because I have all these brushes with me, something that also had a pocket so I could put the brushes in there. Let me open it. Okay, there, I opened it. So now we have this extra pocket. There, we got that extra pocket. In here I have the little, certi not the certificate, but the little sticker with the price and the coding and the name of the thing. Coated fabric with a little leather piping around. Yes, we got the Vaquetta piping. And then on the inside, we have interior synthetic textile. And the name is 
trousse toilette 25. For whoever's interested, the product number is M47527. <clears throat> and the fabric inside is textile, which can get wet and you can kind of just wash it. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they made it. I think they made it extractable. Not not fully extractable, but you can pull it out if you need to. Like just flip it. Yeah, you can you see? You can pull it out if you want. So it is a kind of a a, a dangerous material I want to say because I thought it was just going to be fabric no, but it is coated. You can hear it. So I am a little bit scared and I asked my sales associate like, "Hey, this type of material seems to be prone to cracking or the surface might be peeling because, you know, I've done my research and I know that some people after many years, if they don't treat their bag right, it, it can tend to, you know, turn icky or sticky or something. But she said, don't worry about it. Like if you have any issues with it, you can bring it back. We can sort it out. So she was very, very reassuring. I'm super curious to try out a material like this. I can tell you that the interior of this one, which is also not leather, but it's kind of like a leather type of texture, but it's still synthetic. I And I, I have a couple of these uh, posh toilettes and some of them many years old. Uh, it, it really holds very, very well with time. I've never had issues with them. I've never had this interior before, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um... To, to see how, you know, what it does and how it works. So, basically, these new ones don't have the date code in them anymore, but they do have a little microchip somewhere. So, I don't know where the microchip is. You know how they hide their little chip? So, at Louis, when they scan it, um, it pops up in their system immediately. Like, when it was bought, where it was purchased. I mean, it's kind of really fascinating. I'm still wondering, where could that little chip be? So, that was very satisfying, says Alfie. I, now I need a cigarette. Now, let's, let's, you know, I hate doing what fits in my bag. And this is not about what fits in my bag, but I really want to put all my cosmetics in here so that I can finally have it all together in one place. So, you see, I have my brushes. And um, I got my little blush brush, which I love to bits. And I have my powder brush, which is more round, uh, both from Coco. Yes, they are little Coco babies. So uh, they're going to go into this pocket here so that they don't get like scratched or busted. And I'm going to flip them like that so they don't scratch each other. So they, oh, they fit like magic. Check this out. They fit on top of each other perfectly, like perfectly. And... I'm going to zip it closed. Then I got this chunky um, powder that I use all the time for filming. And also when I'm out and about, the Natural Finish Loose Powder in the shade 10, Crystalline. So it should... Okay, it doesn't... Okay, so for example, this... Obviously, the bag, uh, the, the pouch is not as wide as this is. This is wider. So I'm going to have to not lay it flat, but to the side, which doesn't matter because it's sealed. Then we have our little mirror, uh, double, double sided. You're so two faced. The little compact mirror in its pouch as well. That one goes in there. Then we have the powder blush. Malice 71 shade goes in there as well. Then I have my eyebrow makeup. The eyebrows are going in there as well. Then <clears throat> Chanel number no. 5. This one has its own little pouch, but I have my pure perfume of Chanel number no. 5 always with me wherever I like it's 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 like a talisman. I I always have it with me and it always has at least a couple of sprays left in there. It's only 7.5 mil. So that goes in there. A lippy. Uh, this one is Hysteria. Almost black. It's like a purple black Chanel lippy from a couple of years ago. Love it to bats. 
puts it in there. Then, um, hold on, I'm gonna take these things out as well. So <clears throat> if I need to retouch a more beige tone powder, I have Le Beige, uh, yes, I am a Chanel makeup freak, in the color 10. And in you go, in you go. <laughs> Then we have a more blush in case I need another shade. Fits perfectly. Tissues because you always need some tissues. Little Kleenex moment. Then um, I have even more lipsticks here, but I don't use these at the moment. Now I have this little pouch for extra perfumes. Yes, I love my Ernie. Little soft plushy pouch, zipper pull. And in here I have another lipstick. Oh, I got Rouge Noir. We love our Rouge Noir. Classic color. Black, red. So this one. And then underneath it, I got two um, extra perfumes. Uh, Chanel Number no. 5, Eau du Parfum, 7 mil refillable, and Coco Mademoiselle, the pure perfume, 7.5 mil. Spray, both sprays. So these, even like this, with this extra little pouch added, just so that it protects the little perfume bottles and whatever, what have you, fits. And I, oh my gosh, and I have so much more space left. And I don't have anything, uh, like, yeah, these are like the immediate things that I need. Look how much more space I got left in there. Like, super a lot of space left. Like, check this out. Like, I took out Ernie. There's so much. Wait, let me take the shoes. They're so squishy. They're making noise. There's so much more space left in there. Fabulosity. Oh, my gosh. This is so practical. I'm loving it. But, of course, the more you stuff it, the heavier it gets. This thing is so practical. So practical. I am living for it. Living for it. Um... So you're going to be seeing me lifting this more often in the future because I'll be using this all the time for filming. And um, I've been using this one in the past um, a lot as really a clutch, just like Lady Diana did, just like Marc Jacobs did um, when he was working at Louis. This is a wonderful, wonderful piece. You can just, you know, hold like that. And it's thin, so it's perfect. So I could now I can put my... Chanel sunglasses case in there instead. Yeah, perfect. And then look at that. So much more space left. And then you can put a wallet there or the glasses. Oh, the glasses could... T no, they can't stand. No, but they can I'd put them down like this. So there's a lot more space. You could put a wallet in there. You could put also... Um, <clears throat> you could even put a little bottle of water in here, you guys. Uh, your your you know key pouch passport whatever whatever you need uh, th this thing is amazing I'm like proud and about for a quickie if you know what i mean and then this little fella is so cool i'm loving it now i know a lot of people prefer the now discontinued um truces that are like kind of just square a rectangular cut without the piping um but in the monogram they've discontinued them in the monogram brown like ton sur ton they have still a version in the dark blue kind of navy and blue uh, monogram but this, this is my monogram you guys this this is my monogram I, I don't like the other colorways i just i i try to look at them and i try to kind of like fall in love with them but i i can't so people are kind of scared because they say oh they're worried about this piping because it's the vaqueta leather so it's going to stain I'm like, staying away, baby. This thing is going to be so much more beautiful when it starts patinaing, when it starts staining. Because it gives it, it's then it becomes really yours. And it, Louis Vuitton pieces, I know this is like <clears throat> a weird thing. People, when they buy these objects, they want to preserve them as much as possible. But unlike most other luxury products, Louis Vuitton travel accessories and toiletry pouches they just look better and better the more you use them because when they get that aged look oh my god there's so much depth inside of them 
it, it's amazing. They, they age very well. So, um, and this is also something that makes me less afraid to use my Louis Vuitton pieces uh, than, let's say, my Chanel pieces. You know, a Chanel bag, you know, you always have to be extra careful. Obviously, you don't want it to get wet and this and that. But with Louis pieces, like, first of all, they don't cost as much as Chanel. And second of all, they are so resistant, at least the canvases, that it just makes me so, so happy to use it all the time. Feels more Louis when there's Vaquetta trim. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Ah, you've convinced me to not sell my Truce 28. <clears throat> oh, Kelly, you got an even bigger one? This is a 25. You got a 28? It's like this big. Oh, you're talking the, about the, the rectangular one without the piping? No, don't sell it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Girl, what makeup? Like, <clears throat> like we... We all you like wake up so fabulous. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yes, so fabulous. I'm still like sick from <clears throat> the coffin. Also, I I don't feel fabulous at the moment at all. So I probably don't look it either. Functional as a makeup bag. Love the flexible sides. Perfect beach bag. It's a great beach bag. You could even put sandwiches in here and snacks if you really wanted to. <laughs> Bonbons, little candy, little knickknacks, sweetie darling, little knickknacks. Oh, more perfumes. You could also add, you know, I have here, um, I got a, I got myself a um, backup of number one, uh, the Chanel, Le Rouge, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Let's take it to the beach with us, darling. Just throw that shit in there. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, added it. Yeah, we got, look at that. Hold on, let me just lift it. Oh, look, there's still there's still more space. <clears throat> we can like still add more. It's getting like super heavy at this point. It's like they call the Neverfull the Neverfull. I want to call the Trousse Toilette 25 the Neverfull. I'm loving this spacey slight curvature at the top. It's a little bit more, you know, edgy at the bottom, but more curved at the top. It's giving me such 80s vibes i can't even this is like pure 80s pure 80s it's so gorgeous am i crazy for being so obsessed with this stuff it makes me so happy put in a lip balm i have two um i have two uh, two lipsticks already in here but i can add a third lipstick hold on I got a third lippy. We can add a third lippy. You could, we could, you could call this a lip balm, okay? Boom. Added. There's still space for more. It's insane. It is 80s. I agree, says Richard. It's very, very 80s. Uh, <clears throat> would it be tacky to wear it as a clutch, says Jesus? No, I think it would be so flamboyant. Because it's, it's a toiletry pouch, right? But if you wear it as a clutch, it's... And it's like a really chunky one, you know? It's very much like, I don't give a damn, girl. You don't pay my bills. I pay you no time. And um, yeah, I think it would be very, very flamboyant and fabulously decadent to wear this as a clutch. For sure. For Because, I mean, it's hilarious. And it's so 80s, decadenza. And remember we were talking about uh, True Beverly Hills uh, with Shelley Long? And she has all that Louis Vuitton stuff that she's carrying around in the movie and it's just and the movie was shot in the 80s just to die for this is giving me those vibes like completely um very shelly long <laughs> very true beverly hills exactly do what you want where as you want says debbie yeah you bought it you use it you could fit a cat in there yeah steven you could a heavy one too uh, not crazy, says Heidi. There could be worse habits. Uh, right? Totally. I think it would be such a moment, to be honest, like pair it with a huge oversized sunglasses and, and a loose shirt. Right? I, well, okay, we, you know, we got our little Chanel moment here. We put the little Chanel shades here. Also, well, this is like, you know what? The colorway is actually quite 80s more than 90s. The, the shape, you know what? Even the shape could be 80s. But anyway, they're referencing the 90s. But let's just say, for the sake of whatever, uh, 80s moment, she doesn't have time. She, uh, hold on. She she picks up. You know what? I I, I got to go. Um, I I needs to I needs to go. No autographs. 
needs to, I got to go yesterday. I have uh, an appointment by the poolside. Cock tail. Okay. So um, we got a little martini, dirty, filthy martini waiting for me at the post. I, I got no time. I got to go. I got to go yesterday. So that's the, that's the zhuzh. That's the zhuzh. You know, oh, wow. No, this is the moment. I'm telling you. You got <laughs> God, this is so terrible. This, this is so bad. This is like this is like the worst decadence. <laughs> I'm living ferret, living ferret, begging ferret. Uh, totally Benetton, Deb. You need to do the photos like this. The <coughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna do it in when when we do the um, when we do the uh, the thumbnail time. Um, but of course, I'm not gonna show this thing before I unbox it because you know people want the surprise they don't want to know so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this was a crazy old unboxing I'm, I'm I, I love these little tiny things because you know why I know from experience from all my Louis Vuitton small leather goods with the monogram I use them I use them every day whether it be my wallet my key pouch this little giblet here the little document push document that I use or the bum bag like I use them all the time and they look more and more and more beautiful the more I wear them. So that's why it causes me like so much joy when I buy one of these because I know they're not going to be, you know, archived most of the time. They're actually really going to be constantly in rotation and I, in my, constantly in my eyesight. I will always have them in my life on a daily basis. And interacting with luxury products like that is really what makes me super happy. Because, you know, when you get a luxury product that you kind of have to baby too much, like Chanel bags that I love to bits, but let's face it, they are high maintenance. <clears throat> you kind of don't enjoy them so much fully like you do with Louis, with, with Louis canvas. It, it, it just it gives you so much joy because like you, you realize that these pieces are really made to be used. And this is also why I always say Louis Vuitton should like really stick to these pieces more than their fashion. Because, I mean, we know Louis for travel goods, for, for these type of accessories. That's what they're famous for. And that's what they're good at. They know how to do this. They know how to make this stuff. And um, it's a joy to use them. From experience, I can tell you, <clears throat> use them, use them, use them, use them once you have them. Because they, they're just amazing objects to use. They're very user-friendly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.